So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create <clears throat> an Android little figure using the shapes tool, just to get you a little bit more familiar with the shapes tool. So I found this little Android PNG online. I'm going to show you how to remake it for yourself. So I'm just putting it here to give me a little bit of an idea of what I'm looking at. Okay, so this is what we're going to try to create. What I'm going to do is to draw out a circle. And I need to have the hex code in order to really make this look like our Android. And so I looked that up and the hex code for an Android. There's two ways that you could do this. One, I can type it in, which is A4C639. There we go. Or since I happen to have our Android right next to us, I also have gotten my eyedropper tool and matched it. But if you look, same thing. Since you guys won't have this next to you, then obviously you're going to have to type it. Um, okay. So, the next thing I'm going to do... Let's see. Size this up, make it a little bit more round. If I really want, I can go and do like 2.5 by 2.5. Or I could stretch it out and do... Three by three. Oh, there we go. But since this one's a little bit more of an oval, it might be better to do 3.5 by 3.5. Okay, so once we do that, then I'm going to go and find a rounded rectangle. This is not going to be a perfect rendition of our little dude. It's just to show you how to make a shape. Little figure here in Illustrator. Okay, so we have it where it's almost perfect. Let's see. It's not really going to matter in a minute anyway. Because what I'm going to do is to get a line segment. And draw it across. Right now it doesn't have a color in it. So we need to give it a color. I'm going to do white. And I'm going to make this pixel a little bit bigger so that it creates that space that I need. So now we have our space. I can bump it up just a little bit. Let's see. Okay, so now I'm just adjusting. If you want to know, my width and my height is 3.5 by 3.27 for the square, and then the circle 3.5 by 3. And then I'm going to take that same, let's see, I'm going to take the ellipses here and do it over here on the side so notice that ellipses doesn't really match over here it's a little too circle but if I get my rounded rectangle tool let's try that one that one's a little too square ta-da all I did was bring in my corners. Okay. And I can adjust that as needed. There we go. So if I have the one I like, which as you see, it's literally almost the same here. There we 
go if I really want to. Which for you guys, that'll be 0.66 and 2 for the width and height. So if I don't want to have to go recreate another one, so I can do control C to copy, control V to paste. And link that up. There we go. And I can hit control V again. Right there. brought in this just a little bit so it looks a little more boxy. I can use my arrows tool to even these out. And then I'm going to take let's see there's two ways that you could do this one. You could if you think that this is a little boxy up here um, you can use a line segment, or you can use a really tiny, really thin ellipses up here. See, right now it's straight. I can hover over it till I see the little arch there and rotate. And see, right now it's kind of hard to change it. So if I do Control Plus. It'll zoom in so that I can actually focus on changing it. Oh, still. So if it's still bugging like that, then I can just cut it in half over here and just do Right now it's making it wide this way instead of the height. So in that case, I just redo it. There we go. A lot quicker. And just rotate. There. Copy and paste. Rotate this one. does not have to be perfect. On that one, it's 0.57 and 0.62 for your width and your height. And then I'm just going to go and get a ellipses tool, change it to white. And bring it on over. Oh, this one I didn't need to use my eyedropper tool. I accidentally made it white. There we go. There we go. I'm using my line so it gets me to help even it out and line it up. Okay. See, there we go, guys. It's not perfect, but it's there. That's all I'm looking for for that. It's just to show me you can kind of create with it. So that'll be it for that one. So once you're done with everything, in order to be able to show this to me and get it turned in, you have a couple of options. One is to do, let's 
see. Command Shift S and then draw across and create a screenshot. That's a pretty easy way. That's going to be put into your screenshots, which then you'll have to go over here and do screenshots and then find it in your file folder. Okay, so that's one way. Another way would be to do file export. Let's see. Export as. Let's see. So if we want to save it as a PNG. And then do. I'm just going to title it AI Basics. Do export. So see, it has it all here. Um, I needed to delete that other Android, but not a big deal. Um, I would set it for high on that one. And then do OK. See if you keep your Android up here like I did mine. That's a oops. But notice it's not on my desktop. OK. Or it's right there on my desktop. So see it's going to save it as a PNG. So that's what that if I save it as a PNG without the background. That's what's going to happen. We're going to be able to see that. Which is funny. Um, but we can also do, let's see. Um, I'm going to do file export as. And then do instead of PNG, I'm going to do JPEG, which for this instance is probably better. And do export. So just knowing the different ways to save it helps out. See, this one has a clear background. This one has the white background. So then we're able to actually make that look better. Okay, so then that's the one that you would turn into the turn box.